Welcome back. We are here with the wonderful Lena, and uh, we are designing a super. <laughs> My name the wonderful is Julia. Julia. <laughs> and uh, we are designing a brand for a Latin-inspired cocktail bar. And um, yeah, today we're going to be wrapping up the project. It's going to be super fun. And in about 30 minutes, you guys have the chance to win 100 Sticker Mule stickers. Um, yeah, die cut, super cool, um, with your own design. And in about one and a half hours, we'll be reviewing your uh, des uh, design challenge, um, re re yeah, your submissions. So yeah, submit your artwork and yeah, we'll look through that later on. Yes, I can't wait to see today's artwork. Yay, it's gonna be fun. So uh, Lina, tell us. What's the, what's the plan for today? So, um, for those of you who are returning, thank you. Thanks for coming back. Uh, we're going to go with, we're going to continue doing some more assets for the restaurant and we're going to wrap up the project and make it into a mocked up presentation for Behance. So, Oh. <laughs> Hi. Welcome guys, Balder. Olga, <laughs> Raphael, Anil, Kervin, Valder, Whitney, Lindsay. Hi, Welcome guys. So, so good, good to, to see have you. you here. <laughs> yes, and see some returning faces. Thank you so much. Yeah. So um, yesterday we left off at the um, coaster design. Yeah. And. I went back to the hotel and I continued doing a little bit of the assets because I knew we were going to be a little pressed on time today. So um, I let me bring this yeah. up. Okay, yes. so, um, <laughs> so I did a couple business cards. I have two color options. I would love to get you guys' feedback on this, which yeah. color you guys prefer. Let us know your favorite color here. Yes. <laughs> So we have the red version and the green version. So you guys let us know what you like and we'll be mocking that up. Germany in the house, yes. Hey. Welcome Mahadi from Germany. Arizona, Arizona. is in the house. Arizona. Arul. Nice. Hi Hello guys. from India. Hi, Austria, Colombia. Wow, so Hello, many countries. Colombia. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Hello from Bangladesh. Wow. So many countries already. We're the UN, Brazil. Brazil, awesome. Nice. The green cool. version. Yeah. Green for like sure. Green. I think green is gonna win. Cool. Let's see. Anyone with red? No. <laughs> okay. Um, I also did a lens. <laughs> a little matchbox design, so we could like get started with that. But what I want to start doing right now is the. Um, landing page for the website. So this is a restaurant that is not open yet, but will be one day. <laughs> so, so we're just gonna do a landing page with with like a coming soon message or like a newsletter box so, so people can enter to, to know when that is. So one thing I wanna do is find some photography first. So I'm gonna go to Adobe Stock No, not that I'm not buying Adobe. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck the Adobe. Right yeah, here. there we go. Okay. Um, I'm going to look for cocktails because what else, right? <laughs> and then I'm going to try to find a photo that reflects the image of this place. Yesterday we went over some of the. So good morning, Amor. <laughs> My husband's there, <laughs> and um, uh, and we went over the brand guidelines, and there were some parameters for the photos. And one thing that it said was to try to include uh, like human trace in the photo. So that photo that's behind Julia seems to be a cool one. Oh yeah, because it and it does have that that flare and it. I think it's, it's a good lifestyle it's a image. Good, yeah, it, mm -hmm. it doesn't look like that stocky, I think. It's mm -hmm. it's a cool one. So um, one thing that I do sometimes is look for, for more of the same of right. the same batch of photos. Mm -hmm. So I I see that this one is cool too. Um, 
Yeah, so let's, oh, there's one with food. Sorry to be in the house. No. Bojana, Hi. welcome. Um, so yeah, let's just go with this one. I'm just gonna license it. And it's gonna download. Awesome. And I'll put it in here. So um, one thing, I'll just get this to be 1920 by 1080. Mm -hmm. So I know that's, that's a regular like the... screen size, right? So yes. you know it's a full screen. So one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna... Okay, so you're creating a mask? Yes, so I'm just gonna mask that so it's that screen size and I'm gonna put a square over it mm -hmm. and then Command-7 to mask to that shape. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm actually gonna extend this because now that I know that this, the first mm -hmm. screen goes there, I want people to keep able scrolling to scroll down. down. Right? Mm -hmm. And Hello from Turkey. Hello back to Hi, Turkey, Domet. Hey, Turkey. <laughs> Welcome. Good evening, woman in gray. <laughs> okay, yeah. See, we had a talk before yeah. coming. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm gonna take one of the logos. I think this one is the one that pops the most. Mm -hmm. So it might be good. I, I might try a couple ones. And um, ah, okay. I'm gonna put it here. It I said in the brand thinking. guidelines that I cannot use a over colored the... logo over oh, okay. a photo. So oh, okay. I am being obedient mm -hmm. and doing what the brand goddess told me. <laughs> <laughs> and now you are just aligned the logo to the center, right? So yes, I aligned the logo to, in this case, a, to well, I was artboard. aligned to the artboard. So mm -hmm. I select, I select my logo, I select my artboard, and then I click again on the artboard to, to let a illustrator know that that is the main the key element object. that mm -hmm. I want to align with. And then I align to the center and to the center both ways. Mm -hmm. um, so there's not a lot of contrast here. So I'm going to put a, an overlay mm -hmm. of black. Mm -hmm. And how I do this, I just go to um, transparency. Mm -hmm. multiply, mm -hmm. and then I lower it down so that it doesn't look too dull, but it doesn't, um, but it also generates some contrast. And I send both objects to the back. So we get, I think it can use a little less because it's... We have a Miguel Cordero in the chat from hey! Spain. <laughs> <laughs> See, maybe we're related. You maybe you know. guys are related, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, let's see. So I am going to put a pink background because what else? <laughs> pink is everything. Okay, and I'm gonna get some of the copy that I had prepared. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 let's see, landing page. Risky, what's up you guys? <laughs> what's up Risky? What up? <laughs> So guys, tell us something about yourselves. Yeah. Maria de Los Angeles. Hi. Hi. Hi, Domet. Mm. Okay. Awesome. So I have this copy right here. If you guys didn't, uh, uh, were not here before, we are design designing a landing page for the bar. La Playa. La Playa. Here's a question uh, from Akib. Why you use black with multiply blend mode? Why not uh, just use opacity? Oh, because opacity, it's gonna be... Wait, opacity on the, just, on the uh, top layer or yeah, on, the on the regular top layer? layer. Mm -hmm, on the top layer. So the black... Oh, you... because it merges better. Because if I only use the... I, I am using opacity too, but if I only... I'll, I'll show you guys a little bit. And in some cases it does. Um, so let's say it's, this is more evident, right? And I have it in, oh, in this case, it doesn't do much. But sometimes it, it, it makes it 
yeah. like merge better and and the back photo it's going to pop up a little more. Yeah, I think it's uh if you put it into relationship with the photo, so basically if you um if you choose the the overlay and the photo and then you uh, create um, multiply you, you multiply it then uh, the colors uh, will be like kind of merging between the overlay and the photo so that's the difference and to just uh, decrease the opacity we'll just create a semi-transparent black layer hi Claudie good to see you here <laughs> Greetings to the UK. Let's see. Okay. Um, Lindsay is asking uh, why you're using Illustrator to design the landing page and not InDesign, XD, Dreamweaver, etc. Well, right now, just because we're doing everything in Illustrator, it's like let's just put put everything into the flow. But definitely, XD, it's a very good alternative. I I've never designed. A landing pages in, in InDesign. I usually like leave InDesign strictly for, for print. Mm -hmm. But but yeah, XD is definitely a really good alternative yeah, to do sure. this. Um, I think in XD it's also really good if you want to do animations. It's really easy to create animations in XD. In this case, I think this is just to showcase how the brand uh, will look and as, as, a, as a whole picture. So you want to have different kind of assets. And this is not not the um, yeah the landing page the final design it's just you know a suggestion how it could look like yeah right? it's just to get like a feel for the brand yeah, and exactly yeah Alan hi hello from Wisconsin hi ba hola hello, Marcela <laughs> from Buenos Aires Indonesia is in the house yeah awesome Anna hello ladies so hi, we'll Anna. just do this really quick because. As Julia said, this is just to get a feel for the brand. So we're not going to go into like the details or like the nitty gritty things right here. But um, let's see, let's use this. Tom is watching us while he works. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I, I like to do that as well. Uh, so. And my, at my house where I have my home office, I usually have uh, one screen where I work and one screen where I'm watching uh, either tutorials, classes, or Adobe Live. It's, uh, it's really cool. It's super relaxing to have someone working right next to you. Hello from Israel, gal. Hello from San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing I want to try is um, so you know how this restaurant that's inspired by a bunch of spots in Latin America? Mm -hmm. I want to see if I can do like a little gif mm -hmm. that changes with... Oh. So it's like a taste of Havana, a taste of Lima, a taste of... Oh, yeah. Uh, so I think that could look really cool for Yeah, for and with that wave, right? Yeah, uh -huh. so it will just be... Yeah, that's so a good idea. I'm going to try that. When I finish the layout, we, we can try to put that into a, a GIF in Photoshop. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds awesome. That could be cool. Um, <laughs> Gal is asking, how's it going? It's going great, as you mm -hmm. can see. <laughs> Hi, Gal. Yeah, Anna's saying she loves the brand uh, look so far. Oh, thank you so much, Anna. Hi from Canada, Bruna. Welcome. But she's Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. So what do you guys look in a restaurant in order to go there? Because I know I'm someone that is like a design snob when I like go to restaurants or or just buy stuff products. Mm -hmm. Like I saw your your wine. Oh like, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. me. Like I just <laughs> buy wine or buy the bottle. I don't care. Oh my I gosh. I just buy everything because me of the too. design. What I do you guys absolutely, look for? Absolutely. Like I absolutely love uh, buying buying wine judging by the by the cover. Totally. <laughs> by the, like, yes, yeah. it's it's a thing to do. <laughs> and books as well. Yeah. Judging by the cover. <laughs> yes. I know. It's yeah, a co the cover is important, and then also I, I usually, when I buy a book, I usually take a random read in, in between. Like, uh, I open it in the middle, and I, re I read a couple sentences. <laughs> if I like it, I get it. 
Let's see. Bruna is asking, how did you create the logo? I created it in Illustrator. Illustrator. Yeah. <laughs> of course, because I only Check out it. yesterday's session. <laughs> there is more. Yes, yes, check it out. We did not create a logo yesterday, but I did create it on, on Illustrator. And I did um, the palm tree was done using the technique that I that I showed you guys yesterday with image the pineapple. Trace. Image yes. trace. So, image trace. Make sure. Wait, I guess. Yes. <laughs> of this. <laughs> okay, let's go back here. Stay in the known for opening dates. This is going to be an email. Email. Address. Let's use. Hmm. Oh, here, I was. Akib is asking, why not use effects uh, rape, wrap flag instead of path type? I think there is different ways to do things in Illustrator. Um, maybe that's a way that's more comfortable for Lina because she's been doing that before. Uh, but there's always different ways to, um, yeah, to create something, so yeah. It's like a forest. Everybody finds their <laughs> own path, right? <laughs> There's so many. It would be cool to, to have a life that it's that, like two designers doing the same Thing? product, but y see oh, how yeah. they both do it differently. The process, because, right? Because, yeah, every, everyone has their, their own process, definitely. is. Greg is asking, speaking of books, any book recommendations on design? You know, I haven't. It, I ordered it. A month ago, and I haven't had a chance to to read it. But I heard that, oh, what's the name of it? It's called Graphic Design for Non Designers, I think. Oh. I heard really good things about that book. Um, let's. I'll show you which one it is. This one. Ah. Okay. The Non Designers Design Book. I heard about Robin Vill Williams. Oh, okay, maybe that's a different one. <laughs> I think there is an actor. Not the actor. <laughs> not, not the actor, for sure. I was like, hmm, I heard that name before. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I actually also have a bunch of books I can recommend you guys. So, um, okay, so first uh, first of all, Creative Confidence uh, by, I think, David Kelly. David Kelly? Yeah, Creative Confidence. I think it's a really cool book um, because it's... Um, about how you can be creative um, even without being able to like a, a perfect painter or being able to sketch realistically it doesn't matter what he's saying basically is that um, create being creative is uh, to solve problems and there is different ways to solve problems so um, but creativity is al always part of it yeah I think it's a really cool book and then um, Oh, there is a bunch actually. And what's the name of that one? Creativity. Cre creative, com uh, creative confidence. Creative confidence. Mm -hmm. That's a really good one. Um, I love design books. I have so many at home. <laughs> okay, so what I'm I just copied all of them again, so I can change it into. Well, there is saying yes. That was my first book to read about design. Okay, which one? <laughs> Yours or mine? <laughs> oh yeah. Uh -huh. Who's? 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 Uh -huh. Who's Valder? Yeah. Um. What do? You, what are your favorite books about design, you guys? Yeah, let us Tell know us. your books in the comments. Yes. And Chen Win countdown. Ten minutes left. So you guys ah! stay tuned to win some cool stickers. Nice. I, I'm totally making some stickers for La Playa. I don't care if it doesn't exist yet. I'm just gonna go ahead and do them. And then wait for, <laughs> for it to happen someday. <laughs> wow, look, copy pasting mix makes it look so much more. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like, wow, you did so Copy much work already. So <laughs> Everybody loves your design. Oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. It's so nice having you all there. 
Tima is saying meow meow everyone. <laughs> okay. Meow. Cats are welcome as well. <laughs> ah. Let's see the loop. Okay. Uh, Marcel is saying Brand by Hand by John Contino is also a good book. Oh cool. Brand by Hand. Valder is saying I love Thinking with, with Type by Ellen Lupton. Mm -hmm. I heard of that one, Thinking with Type. I think I've seen it. Awesome. Okay, and we have... Lucky Graphics saying, hola, hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Mm -hmm. Oh, huh? I won. Balder's book was my book. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, okay, oh, okay. I told you I'm very competitive. <laughs> <laughs> I won. It was my book. <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Awesome. Um, so, yes. I already have all the con the CDs. Um. Oh, okay. So, you're going to create a GIF out of these uh, artboards, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Because I'm... Because I'm going to be mocking up the entire thing. I'm just going to do the entire thing as a GIF mm -hmm. instead of okay. just like the tiny yeah. thing. Cool. Awesome. Um, okay. So we have a landing page. <laughs> it's there. It just gives you the feel. It's for... Yeah. Um, and then one other thing that I wanted to create, remember our menu and we have some drunken popsicles. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do one of the packaging for that. Oh, okay. Yes. So um, there's this brand of, of popsicles that I am obsessed with. Really? And I, yeah, it's called Dream Pops. Uh -huh. You guys should check them out. They're delicious. And they have this packaging that's really cool because you have no idea that they're popsicles. You're like, what? I, I'm going to see if I can find a picture of it. Um, they're pretty new, so I think it's spelled with a. They spell it with a C. I don't know. Dream pops here. Ah, dream pops. So their packaging looks like this. Uh huh. Um. And oh, okay, cool. This is like the four pack, but they also have a single pack. I uh -huh. don't think they have it in a photo here, but you don't know what it is, right? I mean, you do because of the illustration and but it's mm -hmm. not like an evident. So I really like that concept and I, I want to do a similar thing mm -hmm. for, for our paletas. Mm -hmm. So, um, but one thing that I'm thinking is that because you're not seeing what it's inside, you do need a, an illustration of it. I mean, you don't need one, but it would be nice to, to know what's, what's in there. So I want to do another illustration in the in the form of what of what we did for for this. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go to Adobe Stock again and look for a mm, popsicle popsicle drawing. Mm -hmm. Ah. And see, there's, see, like it's this. interesting how there's so many specific things. Like you can yeah, literally you, find anything. <laughs> you can find anything. It's That's crazy. Awesome. That's like, super cool. And I, I mean, and it's a little bit of luck too. But right now, I think I'm in luck because this mm -hmm. is in the illustration style that I'm mm -hmm. looking for. So I think I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna use this one. Let's. Oh look, there are single ones as well. Oh, there's single ones too. But you know what? If I license this one, <laughs> you can I use have, all of them. <laughs> I, I'll use the one. <laughs> Is that even possible? I'm not sure. For yeah, like yeah, legal yeah, for terms. sure. I think so. Yeah. So let's use the big one. And if one of them doesn't work, we'll try with the other ones. Um. So, yeah. No, and I love that they have vectors too. It's, yeah. It's great. So this one we might because it's a vector. We might not. We don't even have to do the. The tracing. Yeah, it's already a vector file. So yeah. I'm going to copy this. Awesome. And then I'll put it in. Gladys' book recommendation, How to be a graphic designer without losing your soul. <laughs> Adrian's self, self Nessie. 
Was, that's, it was her first that, design book. That yeah. sounds good. That sounds really good. Yeah. <laughs> if, I, if I would see a book with a title like this in a store, I would definitely buy it. <laughs> <laughs> if it has a good cover. If it has a good cover, yeah. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Okay, so I'm going to do... More Catherine people. is asking, do you pay for the standard one? Yeah, there's packages, I think, of pictures that you can get. For the what? Um, for the stock. Um, there is packages that you can get with like multiple... Um, Yes, um, you you do have to have to pay for them, yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. And here are here are some of the packages you can yeah. you know, check it out. Um, they have the ten standard for for twenty nine, which is which is pretty good. Yeah, because stock image is usually very expensive, and also it saves you a bunch of time. I mean, if you already yeah. have a vector that's already prepared, and there's a bunch of templates too for like flyers, posters, um, it just saves you a lot of time. Yeah, imagine like in order to do this, we would have had to draw it by hand, yeah, and then scan it, go into our our Illustrator, vectorize it. So it did save us quite a bit of time. So, okay. So who likes mojitos? <laughs> Me! I <love laughs> yeah, I love mojitos. Uh, we have a friend that's, uh, who's a professional cook in, in Florida. And he's like cooking for, um, for like very famous people. Uh, I think he cooked for Obama and all that stuff, like very famous people. So um, he made a bunch of uh, mojitos for us with like watermelon. And I'm like, oh yes, uh, this is definitely <sighs> the day where I'm gonna start loving mojitos. <laughs> <laughs> I love fancy cocktails. Yeah. Like weird mixes. It's my favorite. Okay, so we're doing the mojito. I'm gonna do Sanderson. Draw by hand and use Adobe app. Yeah, Lucas, <laughs> you can draw by hand too. I love drawing by hand yes. actually. I love using my iPad with like um, Illustrator or Photoshop, the mobile versions. And I think this year uh, Adobe's releasing the Photoshop for the iPad, but like a Photoshop Photoshop with layers and everything. And with, I mean, layers were there before, but it has it has really similar functions to the one from the desktop. So I'm very excited about that. Yes, <laughs> this is gonna be great. Yes, no, Adobe has been releasing so many cool apps. And I think the cool thing is, like, you can literally sketch on your iPad, and then. You can uh, you can just uh, send it to your to your desktop and it just opens it in right inside the app. So I think that's really cool. cool. Oh, I like it. You like it? Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> I love it. We need to put a couple more things. But see, you guys, I know I'm the biggest brand guidelines advocate, but <laughs> <laughs> but it took me. Like nothing to design yeah. this because I already have very yeah. established Just put brand the guidelines. Elements together I'm like, and okay, you have something no. awesome right there. Yeah, I know what color I need to use. I know the font I need to. And it, it's just putting it together in a layout. So always, always, guys, do brand guidelines with your yeah. branding projects. And only twenty seconds to oh try my God. To win. <laughs> so you guys, who's so ready to win? What you have to do is just uh, stay. Um, write something in the comments, and then one of you guys uh, will win a hundred stickers from Sticker Mule. So that's cool. I love stickers, mm. as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do the chat and win right now. We have the fireworks. So Go guys, just type anything. Type your favorite drink. Type your favorite food. Type your favorite color. Anything. Just type it inside the chat. And type, type like that cat from the meme. <laughs> <laughs> Go!
welcome back. <laughs> Type guys. Let's see. Let's see who's let's winning. Let's see who's the winner. Ooh. Mojitos tequila. Silence. <laughs> Mojitos. Yes. Let's all get what, drunk. What? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't, you guys. Drunk on water. French fries. <laughs> Woo. Yay. Me, me. <laughs> Wine. What? Me. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Mango mojito. Ooh, that sounds Moscow really mules. good. Oh, I love Moscow Mules. And the winner is Gyal Mai. Uh, Gyal. We're gonna get in touch with you shortly over Behance. So Ooh. don't worry, you get, you'll get contacted and you have won a hundred sticker mule stickers. And for all of you guys who awesome. haven't won, you still have the chance to use a uh, um, the Adobe Life 19 code, not a code, but if you go onto stickermule.com slash Adobe Life 19, you can get a 10 Sticker Mule stickers for only $1. And it's free shipping. <laughs> Inside yes. the United States, at least. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I just ordered mine uh, a Ooh, couple days ago. What, so did you, really what did you design? So, I have a, I have a, a, uh, like a YouTube channel that I'm trying to... Uh, create now so um so yeah i made stickers for that oh is it live yet because um all yeah it's, it's live you. it's live yeah you guys should come follow me it's gonna be all about designers in san francisco <laughs> nice yeah i think uh you can um you can find it on my instagram my instagram is Ju uh, just another sunny girl and then there is link i love there your you instagram go. handle yeah uh, wait, what's uh, let's let's show let's look at take a look at yours. Mine is only child design mm -hmm. with no D in be with only one D in between. So um, oh okay, I uh, I have it open here now. Oh yeah, that's me. Yay, tiny spell. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Thank this you. Is so cool. <laughs> Okay. Did you did you make the illustration for this one? Yes. Awesome. This is really cool. I like how you play with the text here. I have um, a poll going on for three, three of them. Like if you close that one, you'll see not the other. Yeah, there's three concepts uh -huh. that I have in there. So if you guys want to go and vote, oh, that yeah. will help me a lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see. So it's either this one, this one, or that one, yes. right? Oh, okay. Yes. So you guys make sure you follow only child design with only one D, and uh, mm -hmm. and vote. So Lena can make her decision. <laughs> Thank you. It's gonna help me a lot because that is a personal project that I'm doing, and I Yay. need some help. I have no client to tell me what they want. So. <laughs> well, there is saying. Uh, he followed you yesterday. Oh, thank you, Valder. I'm gonna go follow you. Awesome. Okay, so. What do you think about this, you guys? Any suggestions? I think this looks really great. I really love it. Honestly, I think uh, also the, the typeface that you picked, what's the typeface for Lime Mint Rum? This one, it's called Palm Canyon Drive. Palm it's Canyon a really Drive. cool typeface. I haven't bought it yet. I'm using the trial ah, because this okay. is not a, a real project, okay. but it's a really cool one. I'm awesome. definitely gonna buy it when I use it. Yeah, it's really cool, I love it. Yes, it's super cool. Um, what else? Okay, so should we start getting into the mock-up Photoshop Yeah, let's do that. Face? For sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, what should we mock up first? Hmm. Uh, what about the what about the gift that we wanted to make? Okay, let's do that. Yeah, okay. I think that's really cool um, to like start off with. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna export. I should export everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That probably makes sense. Let's. Let me just make sure that I have everything yeah. with the correct naming and mm -hmm. everything is fine. Wow. This looks very. Uh, Organized. I love it. <laughs> yeah, yesterday we were talking about naming artboards. So you guys can name your artboards and then you will actually, when you export the file and you have the different artboards in JPEGs or different documents, they are already named after what, what's in there. So 
it's good to have uh, to have this kind of uh, organization so you don't have to rename them later on. It just makes things easier. Definitely. It's time saver. For sure. Lucas just bought a new computer just so um, he could use mockups. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mockups nice. are great. Oh god, aren't they the best thing yeah. ever? It makes things so much better looking. Yeah, and that's another thing that there's so many uh, pre-made mockups that are great. That save yeah. you so much time. Yeah, and they're just the best. <laughs> and also, it's possible to make your own mockups. Yes. Uh, maybe there will be another. Um, yeah another sessions session for that because um, in Photoshop you can create smart layers mm -hmm. where you can basically you can replace the picture that you place on a surface and you can just use it later on for your projects so yeah there's a lot of a lot of things that you can do yes also taking your own photo when it's a real project it's really fun to take your own photography oh yeah but right now we can't. <laughs> so let's go through this. And uh, Jenny's saying, I had no idea we could have so uh, had so many uh, artboards set up this way. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This is how my work looks too. <laughs> it looks messy. It looks like it's a lot. But actually, I mean, it's just for us to have a whole picture. And then I feel like when you're tr really trying to export the files or create the files for the client, you need to clean it up. Because oh, if yes. a client sees that, <laughs> yes. they'll be they'll be shocked. Never present something like this <laughs> no. to a client. Never. Never, no. never. They will hate you forever. And first of all, they won't understand what, what this whole thing is. Yeah. They, they will think it's a whole picture of something. They really sometimes don't understand. So you got to really communicate well. Yes. Mm. Yeah, I usually have like an artboard where I do this, everything just for me and like experiment. They usually look much messier because this, at least I'm working from brand guidelines. So I like I have my elements when I'm experimenting with with typefaces or logo design or icon design. It's just like all over the place. Yeah. So I usually have that first artboard that I always name the name of the logo board and put like, <laughs> everything in there. Then yeah, I have like yeah. another board where I'm like selecting what I like and yeah. then I have a client presentation. Agree. So I have the same thing. It's the first file is always messy and then for me I separate it in separate files like for example the business card file or the logo file and then in the lo inside the logo file I probably have like two three artboards with different lockups. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's the whole process. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to. John is saying really amazing logo. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Thank you, John. Yeah, I think um, it came out really well. Thank you. Okay. Rodrigo just ordered uh, his stickers for $1. Yeah. Whoa, go, Rodrigo. <laughs> Use the situation. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, so. No, it's awesome. I'm just going to. The logo is so th smooth and looks good. Gala Thank saying. you, Gal. Yeah, I agree. It's really smooth. I really like the, how the Y goes into that circle. Thank you. <laughs> I I love it too. It's like it's like it's a dream. good. <laughs> it's good to work on something where you can actually like make all the decisions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. It's awesome <gasps> because then it's gonna be great. <laughs> yeah, you know it's gonna be great. <laughs> Yeah, that's something I, I was telling Julia yesterday that I want to start doing more more projects like this just for fun because I usually don't. So and that's what would you guys work on if you could work on oh, anything? Yeah. Let what us would know. Be your passion project about. Let us know in the comments. Yes. Yes, tell us, tell us. I'm interested to know. Um what was I what was I doing? Uh, Mockups. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so um, we're back here, and oh, we were gonna start with the um, with the GIF. Oh yeah. So I'm going to start with putting it one of 
these in Photoshop. Mm -hmm. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place all of the other on top of them. Ah, oh, okay. Wait, why is that one smaller? That one is smaller. Wait, 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 wait. We would have a problem if it is. It's just... Maybe when you place it into the artboard, it kind of uh, adapted to the artboard, or... Hmm, let's see. Yeah, let me open, let me try to do something different. Mm -hmm. If I open here... Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> Jihan is saying, I love branding. Yeah, we love branding too. Yes. <laughs> I think branding is such a cool thing to do or such a cool thing as a, as a designer to do because you get actually like, you basically give birth to something that have never existed before or have has existed, but in not in a good, in a, yeah, in the perfect way. So you basically are creating something completely new from scratch and I love it too. And that can actually, uh, in a very short period of time, ha can help a business really grow by a lot just because of the better branding. Let's see. Yeah, it's saying branding, logos, and UI. A very good combination, for sure. Yes. Olga uh, saying packages, package designs, and again, packages. <laughs> <laughs> what would be your dream package to design, Olga? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let us know. I also love packaging design because I studied industrial design, which has to do with packaging. So, um, yeah, I love packaging, packaging technology and like all the experimental kind of packagings. Jenny saying, would love to work more on nonprofits and community marketing materials. Mm. That is so cool. It's really cool. I've worked for, for a nonprofit before and it's, it's great. Which nonprofit did you work for? It's called Grades of Green, mm -hmm. and they teach um, sustainability to kids in schools. They have programs all over the U.S. and they expand them now to some other countries, and it's really nice. It's and I think one of the nicest thing of working for a nonprofit is seeing them grow because when they started, they were a tiny. I started with them when when I was in college. Mm -hmm. They were like this tiny organization from the back of. A building in a school and then they just grew and expanded and and that's beautiful to see yeah it's really awesome I also worked for a nonprofit once oh what was it um, it was in India actually it was a um, project on like um, homelessness and mm -hmm. um, so we basically created a product which is a, a tent for for the homeless small families um, and yeah, it was a whole product design of the tent. So basically, cool. people can produce the tent themselves out of the locally available cheap materials like bamboo, um, some metal sticks, and like a canvas cover. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, and w so we basically like the goal was to pick the cheapest materials ever to for them to be uh, to be affordable and that they can still build it themselves. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, and then we also did like a, a crowdfunding uh, and we got like really good uh, amount of money so we can provide we could provide um, 125 tents to homeless uh, families in New Delhi. So that was really cool. Wow. It was an awesome project. And we also like I also did um, the whole like technical drawings and um, instructions how to put up the tent, how to how to uh, produce it and so on. So yeah, that's was so cool. That's a really, really fun cool. project. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Again, <laughs> to work in beautiful projects like those. Yeah. Um, so I am, I just created a timeline so that I can animate this really quick. And um, I'm just gonna set this up to maybe two seconds, let's see. Valder is saying mm -hmm. it will be something where I could explore many different kinds of techniques like hot stamping, embossed printing, typography. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. I, I always really enjoy to see projects where people have like really nice prints with like embossed logos and so on. Um, and I think it's always, it, it seems very hard to get to, um, to get to machines like that because they're very expensive and uh, the print itself is also pretty expensive so for a fun project you really have to invest money and i feel like it's not always possible to to people yeah but as far as i know here in san francisco they have uh, um, like organizations or like uh, spots where um, 
where you can experiment actually in a lab. And I think you pay like a small fee and then you can produce whatever you want on oh, the days nice. where they're not so busy. So That's super cool. Yeah. Adrian is asking, have you ever branded a podcast? I'm struggling to pick the design direction I want to go. Any thoughts here? So yeah, podcast. Cool. Podcast. I think, uh, I think the most important thing here is to show like the personality of, is it, is it a podcast about y like where you are the main uh, character or is it about topic? So I would say um, it's important to show like what's the topic about. So people get really interested by the first impression. And um, yeah, they want to know what's what's behind that, basically. Yeah, no, I agree. I've never branded a podcast before, but I have. I did work on television for a long time. Mm -hmm. So I had to brand a lot of shows. And I think that's the most important thing in, in all kinds of media, mm -hmm. really podcast or television, even like digital shows. It's to get the essence of what the show is about and, and, a f and a general feel for it. Mm -hmm. and, and it also like, it depends on like, if you're doing a podcast with, if your host is someone famous, you obviously want to highlight that. But if it's something that it's uh, work balance, like, or, or whatever topic mm -hmm. that you're covering or like entrepreneurship or whatever, it's like something that reflects what you are going to be talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I agree. It's so cool. Tell us about your podcast so yeah. we can follow it. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so I'm just going to see. Sorry. Um, um, Anna is asking, ladies, when you work for a nonprofit, do you work for a discounted rate or pro bono? I did not, and I feel like a bad person for saying this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but I, I worked. I worked for. I started with them when I was very young, so I was I was working with a really low rate. And as I grew older, they, they're they usually not able to afford your full rate. So mm -hmm. yes, a discounted rate, but I did not work pro bono, did you? No, uh, so, but the thing is that um, I did it, it was not after my university, so I was not done with my studies. So it was kind of like an internship. And um, for me, it was uh, that we had the possibility to get funding, like a public funding. So uh, we could afford actually to, um, yeah, to keep those things going. I think um, like crowdfunding is a really good option to, to be able to pay the designer. So um, yeah, whenever, yeah. I mean, you can, also, you can also work together with an organization to try find solutions how to get the funds, you know? And yeah, crowdfunding is one of the ways. <clears throat> but I don't think anybody should be working unpaid and like suffering. Uh, <clears throat> during uh, you know during their work, so. I I agree, <clears throat> I agree. Is um, unfortunately, a lot of people want to take advantage of designers. Yeah, and and it is something that I feel that we as designers have to help yeah. combat. Like, because if also I feel that if if I start working for free, then that's like the norm and. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna ask that from other designers, so it's it's a little a little tricky. I, d I usually never do things for free just because also people um, appreciate it less when it's free. That's true. And even if it's a sandwich or a dinner or whatever, you know, um, anybody can, like, can afford to give you something back. And I feel like if you give something back, you also feel like you're part of it, you know. So it's not like you don't have the feeling that that you used someone. So yeah. I think it's always important to also take back something, yes. at least something. Yes, I totally agree with you. Okay, so we have our gift that changes with time. Mm -hmm. Awesome, <laughs> so, um, I love it. This is really cool. Let's get into the mock-upping. Mock-upping, <laughs> that's you, a word. Can you show us real quick again how you exported the GIF? Yes. So you created uh, six artboards or did you just place the pictures so, on top? So what I did here, I just created... Um, can we zoom in real quick here? Yes. Oops. Well, let's just um, move the page a little bit. Like that. <laughs> Does it work? Or just can you just slide it to the side so we can see yeah. this part? So we can see 
is behind oh, us. Oh, because we're, yeah, <laughs> there. we're yeah. there. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so let's do this. Um, yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> so we can see everything. Yeah. Um, sorry, we're on your way. Mm -hmm. um, we, so what I did, I created um, a bunch of layers mm -hmm. in here. And in each of the layers, I have one of the, of one the, of the different pictures. words. Mm -hmm. And then I created the same amount of uh, frames mm -hmm. on a timeline, mm -hmm. which you create by going to create. Uh, well, I don't. I, it's not showing me right now because I, I think first it. what you do is you go onto window and show timeline. Right? There is a option down there called timeline. Is it that? Yeah, that's yes. it. Yeah. So when you show the timeline, you will see exactly this view down here. So that's where you can. Uh, yeah. Actually, when you. you show timeline, it usually takes you to this view. Oh, okay. So what I do is I just click in there, and I'll just do continue. But and it'll take me to this this view, which mm -hmm. is a little easier when you're just doing yeah. like a yeah. GIF kind yeah, of yeah, thing. Yeah. Then, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I just. Um, I just hide my layers so that the first one says something, and then the second one says another thing, and then the third one, and so on. So, Georgi is saying hello, guys. Hi. But, uh, mm -hmm. Georgi will be great if you write in English. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because it's it's in, it's in Russian, but oh. he's writing <laughs> hello, guys, in Russian letters. <laughs> well, uh, good thing we have a well, good to have you multilingual. Here. Yeah, Host. but <laughs> write in English, please. <laughs> so so yeah, after I do that and I and I create all of the um, all of the re iterations of it, mm -hmm. I I change the timing to a timing that I consider it works. I found that 0.5 was was good because it was like a fast mm -hmm. pace, which is what I want. I mean, yeah. it's not crazy. Mm -hmm. And then you just export it by going to export and save for web. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so this is a giant picture. So I just I made it to a thousand and save and then go through the process. I already saved it, but so, and guys, we we'll give you some design feedback on your daily creative challenge in only thirty-six minutes. Yes. Submit your artwork. Are you guys ready? <laughs> and you can submit your artwork if you go on behance.net/challenge/photoshop, or if you're interested in XD, you can go to. Um, Behance.net.net/challenge/xd. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Okay, so I, in advance, I looked for some mockups that would work for, for what we were designing. So, what do you guys want to mock up? Would you like to mock up the menu first, or the packaging, or coasters? What should we do? Packaging. Packaging. Okay. <laughs> Hi from Ghana, Percy. Welcome. Awesome. I love how international our community is. It's really cool. Yes. Georgi is asking um, if I, if I speak Russian. Yes, I do speak Russian, but not here. <laughs> not here. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And German, right? And Georgi is asking where we are from. Where are we from? You go first, because you're the UN. I'm, I'm a citizen of the world. <laughs> um, I was born in the Ukraine, and I grew up in Germany. So um, when I was a kid, um, we moved to Germany. I spent 18 years in Germany, so I'm pretty German, but also I'm pretty Ukrainian. And now I'm getting pretty American, too. <laughs> I am originally from, from Costa Rica. I was born and raised in Costa Rica, but my, Costa Rica. Costa Rica. <laughs> but my family is from Colombia. So, um, and I moved to the U.S. when I was about 18, 17, so also I've been Teenager. here for, for mm -hmm. a while. So yeah, that's that's us. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone from Costa Rica? 
Costa Rica. Is Costa Rica only, in the house? There's only four million <laughs> citizens, so probably no one from Costa Rica is mm-hmm. there. <laughs> Pura vida. Dennis saying hello from Philippines. Hi, Hi back Philippines. to Philippines. Pura vida, Super Mayo. I would love to have a map where you can see where all the people participating in the chat right. are from. That would be so that cool. That would be so amazing. I would love it. Please, so Adobe, cool. please. Yes, Adobe, <laughs> <laughs> come on. God's love, Adobe. <laughs> Hello from Bangladesh. Okay, so we're mucking Ooh, up Colombia. Ooh, Colombia. Costa Rica. I, Jennifer Abish. saying she lived in Ansbach, Germany. Yeah, Ooh. I think Ansbach is a little bit more in the south. So I lived in Hanover, which is um, in the north by Hamburg. S- Indonesia here. Awesome. Indonesia. Oh, I want to go. So bad. Um, okay, so what I'm doing here, I'm just placing my smart object into Ooh. here. I and love it. the good thing about this mock up is that you can change the background too. So it will make it even more in brand. Oh, so wow. I'm just going to copy this color. Adrian is saying hello from Charleston, South Carolina. Hi. Hey, hey Adrian. <laughs> hello um, from Canada, from Megan. Awesome. Oh, Canadians are really nice. Hi people. from Milano, <laughs> from Artyom. Ciao. <laughs> I think he's Russian, but he lives in Milano, which is great. I love, <laughs> I love people who are international. That's amazing. Okay, so. Um, Jean Baptiste, French, but living in Canada. Salut, Jean Baptiste. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have these ready. What should we keep going with? We have thirty-two minutes to mock up everything. Yeah, um, even less. So, let's well, get we have. I think we have some time <laughs> afterwards as well. Okay, so what so. we can do is maybe mock up everything and then afterwards yeah. put it yeah. into a presentation. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds good. Okay, yes. let's run. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Hi from Utah, Samuel, hi. <laughs> um, Sebastian is saying hi girls. Hi Sebastian. Hi, hi from Colombia. Hola. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> from Jordan. Welcome Jihan. San Diego, Los Angeles. Awesome. This is really cool. This is so nice. Having everyone from yeah. all over. So you're you're exporting right now as a yes. JPEG, right? I'm exporting as a JPEG right now. Just making sure I'm gonna go to my assets folder because mm-hmm. I'm just putting everything in there. And actually, I'm gonna name it mockup something so I get all my mockups together. Olga is these. Russian, born in Estonia, and lives in Austria. Wow! Cool! Wow! This is an amazing story. So many international people. Yeah. And Mario is from Stuttgart, Germany. Yeah. Nice, He's saying, I love how simply international the design community is. Yeah. I love it. Yes. It's really cool. And there's so, so Brazil. many amazing designers. Ru- Rudolf abroad. is from Albania. Welcome, Albania, in the Hi. house. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. Nice. Uh, Gal is asking why you're exporting the JPEG, so it's gonna be. Uh... Yes, we're gonna we're gonna put together a Behance project. So I want to export the the JPEG mm-hmm. for now. Um, okay, so let's go into. Damon is saying greetings from Sweden. Wow, <laughs> Scandinavia in the house. Greetings from Greece. Cool, Panos. Welcome. Jihan is saying, I like your work. It's awesome. Thank <laughs> you, Jihan. Really appreciate it. Yeah, you guys are amazing. So, I need your boats. I have two different, like, slightly different menu options. Oh, okay. Should we go with option one or option two? Okay, what are the differences? Very slight differences. Yeah. So, um, Oh, okay. I see the, side, the pricing. Mm-hmm. The side, the pricing. Mm-hmm. That's it. 
Okay. Oh, okay. I see. This mm -hmm. one, it's a little the the type on this one, it's a little bigger and it mm -hmm. takes more space. Okay, guys. Let us know number one or number two. Number one on the left. Number two on the right. Okay. So let we have one, one for option prefer. one. Voodoo. Super option Mario one. option two. Hey, option one. Hi option from one. Denmark. Okay. <laughs> One cool. it is. Catherine is born and raised in New York City, but family family from Poland. This is cool, Bangladesh. Okay, one. I see oh, a no, lot of one. Oh no, now we have twos. <laughs> but one is still winning. Yeah, I think one is winning, so far. Okay, one one. Yeah, one is winning. Yes, one All one, right. one 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 for sure. Perfect. We're going with option uh -huh. one. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> for helping us making the decision. Okay, so this is a mock-up that you're using for a poster. Yes, I, I decided to use a poster because I really like that I can change the background in yeah. this mm -hmm. and that it has the little leaves. Mm -hmm. So, Cool. And this mock-up, um, did you get it from stock as well? This one, I, I did not get it from Adobe stock. I got it. Hmm. Maybe I did. <laughs> I got some of them in, at Adobe and I got some of them in other resources. Um, I also, I always keep like a, a bunch of uh, mock-ups that I can use. Yeah. I usually have like <laughs> a drive with like full with different kinds of mock-ups for logos, for business cards, for posters. Oh yeah. I, like I have really the cool. same thing going on in my computer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's change that background. Damon color. is asking, is this for a real client? Damon, um, this is gonna be a bar in uh, very very soon in Las Ve in L in LA. <laughs> Why am I saying Las, Ve Las Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> Let's expand it in in our in our <laughs> dreams. Now this is not a real client. It is a, a a fake client, but hopefully it becomes a reality one day because I would love to hang out in here. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jenny is asking, sorry if I missed this, but where did you, um, do you all get your mock-up templates? So uh, if you go, Jenny, if you go on uh, stock.adobe.com, you can see uh, templates for posters. Um, there's different kinds of templates. You have to be looking um, for, for a PSD, Photoshop file. Uh, templates because there is also illustrator templates for you to be able to design a poster what you need is a is, is a PSD file where you can replace the image with your design so um, yeah that's where you can find those my computer is let's see um, I yeah. know it's not going in here maybe do you have any filter on Maybe I do. Let's see. Oh, you're in th are you in 3D? You're in 3D? Oh. Or, no. Just type it here. I think that will work. Yeah. So you just go there and you type whatever you want. Yeah. And then you filter it. Oh, there is it. the one with a, with a leaf. Oh, yeah. So, oh, but this one, it's an InDesign. Oh, okay. Mm, so right. it might be the layout for it. Mm -hmm. So if you go to templates. Yeah. You are going to get a bunch of. Yeah. Yeah, you yes. just pick whatever f uh, fits to your um, client. I mean, if your client is more techy, um, you pick something um, that that looks kind of techy, you know. And if you have a, a a client or a brand that you're creating that's very colorful, so it makes sense to to pick something that's pretty colorful, so yeah. your design fits well in there. Yes, <clears throat> and you can. Um, and there's also some free resources to also where you can find a free mock-ups. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's save this. Okay, awesome. I think this looks really great. I think it's going to be a great Behance project. I hope so. And I hope you all go and like it. <laughs> um, Georgi is asking, how do you advise to start a uh, advice to start a person who just wants to become a graphic designer? I would say um, try, try, look at designs that you like, and then uh, try rebuild them exactly the same way. And by that, by copying something, um, not for creating like for a client or something, I would not copy there, but just for practice purposes, I would just try and copy the, an existing design just so you understand how, um, how this design was created. 
And after that, you will have a better understanding um, yeah, how you can create your own uh, designs. I think it's all about the tools. You just have to learn the tools. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think you're in a in the perfect place right now. You're, yeah. you're watching some designers at work and, and learning from the tools. Yeah. And definitely doing a lot of tutorials. There's there's so many resources out yeah. there now. Yeah. Um, there's you, can, you can watch Adobe Live and just try work at the same time, recreate just the same uh, kind of design. I mean, you can do your own thing. Just f like follow the steps and then you'll get the process. Yes. Definitely. And it's all about practicing. If you practice an hour, two hours a day, uh, you'll be really good after a very short time. So Yes. Yes, you will. Um, okay, so. Yeah, Vlad is asking if you can get the mock-up straight from Photoshop. Yes, there yes. is. A, if you go into the CC libraries, you can, um, you can actually get the stock. Would you want to show them how? The CC, how do I? Oh, um. That's that's okay. Yeah. Okay, let's do it later. Yeah, because yeah, it is possible <laughs> to do it through minutes. the app as well. And we have twenty three minutes to the design feedback for your daily creative challenge. Nice. So you guys, the green the green business card one was that the the common? Yeah, I think that was the common one that people had. Okay, guys, red or green? Red or green? Let us know. We need you red to make green, this red decision. <laughs> Red, green, red, green. Hmm. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that, Vlad. Yeah. That, that sucks. Oh. Yeah, Vlad, you need to create something that nobody ever can copy because they don't know how to do it. Green, <laughs> okay, green one. <laughs> yeah, green. Green. I love how you guys are so in sync. Yeah, like, right? Yes. Yeah, I think it's uh, there is definitely a majority of green. Front green, parts. green, green, red, green, green, green. Pink? <laughs> They're both pink. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> They're both pink in the background. All right. All of this. So this is the smart layer, right? Uh, where you basically yes. replacing the picture in order for it to be adapted to the mock-up. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. I just placed it into smart layering. Can here. you show us real quick how to do this? Yes, let's do it with the, the, the second one. So if I go here, I, l I have to look for the layer. They usually, people that do the mockups usually will name their, their layer, put your design here or your design here, and you just double click on the smart object mm -hmm. and copy your design mm -hmm. in here. So I'm going to copy and paste, paste I, as a smart I always object. yeah I yeah. always paste it as a smart object as well mm -hmm. so that awesome. if in case I want to change anything I can just like quickly go to Illustrator through the smart object and change mm -hmm. it and I'll just delete all of yeah usually you, you have a bunch of like presets that you can change there is also pre-designed uh, business cards and so on so where you can just change up the text uh, but here we, we want to apply our own design, so um, Lina just put her design on top of everything and just deleted the rest because she didn't need it. Yes, and then I have... Um, yeah, good point, Teddy. Um, saying green is the, is, um, has a relation with a tree. That's why they probably picked uh, green. Nice. Yeah, it does have a... Yeah, that's true. Mm. So um, here they have this little logo as well mm -hmm. that... So I'm just gonna put the one for La Playa. Yeah, sometimes uh, templates have resources that you can use, but you don't, don't necessarily have to use. So um, we have our own design here, so we don't need to use that. Yay, I love this logo, this is so amazing. <laughs> it's so flowy and soft. Thank you. Amazing. You guys, 19 minutes left for, oh, for, the, for the daily creative challenge reviews. So submit your artwork. I can show you again real quick how to submit your artwork. Um, you go to behance.net slash challenge slash Photoshop. And this is where you can submit your artwork. And um, yeah, let's um, update this real quick so I can tell you. 
So um, today's submissions is all, is all about uh, design, designing with masks. Yeah, design a water bottle advertisement using mask techniques. So yeah, this is uh, the artwork for today. I think this mock-up is really cool. Do you like the ba the pink background? What do you think? Um, or should we do another color? Let's try. Let's try another color. Okay, we can do, uh, we can maybe do green or let's try yellow. The green one. Or maybe yellow even. Let's try both. Or maybe let's a darker try. green. Let's try the. So I love dark green. It's one of my green. favorite colors. Right <laughs> <laughs> I love dark green too. Okay, so we have our dark green here, and... Mm -hmm. Vlad is saying this looks like a design system if, uh, you do if you design UI. Yeah, I think UI mm -hmm. is also based on a bunch of artboards of different screens where you kind of have connections. So that's a dark green, you guys. What do you like best? Yeah, I think dark I like green? this. I like this. Okay, let's do dark green um, then. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> I like both. <laughs> Yeah. No pink background, please. So <laughs> we're going to honor Vignesh and we're going to do the green. Vignesh. Vignesh? Vignesh. Vignesh. <laughs> yeah, I think that looks good. Also, I feel like we have uh, our other mock ups are kind of bright. So this will be a good contrast when you're scrolling through the project, you know, from like light to dark, light to dark. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, definitely. I, I like that. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So. Yeah, Ami is saying such a beautiful design. Oh, I agree. Thank you. Jihan is saying yellow. Yeah. We have a bunch of colors already. That's great. Okay, so next up. Catherine is saying the cards disappear. Um, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's try yellow, you guys. Let's try yellow. <laughs> I think we have a mock-up already with yellow. So if all the backgrounds are yellow, it will be kind of, maybe kind of. Okay, all right, okay. Okay, you guys like this one? Yeah. Yellow it is? Yellow or green? Yellow or green? Yellow or green. <laughs> <laughs> For the background, yellow. Okay, it's three people that said yellow. But they said it before. Yeah. Before we so, tried it. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's, let's see. see. Let's, let's see. see. Let's see. Yes. <laughs> yellow. Okay. <laughs> yellow it is, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Okay. Um. Yeah, they all say yellow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're okay, going good, for good, yellow, good, good. you guys. Okay. Okay, okay. We got it. <laughs> Okay, okay, <laughs> it's yellow. Uh, <laughs> well, Elizabeth is really excited about yellow. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a, it's a good contrast. You guys are right. Yeah, definitely. Sometimes it's good to experiment, huh, to see what's better. Yes. Okay. Okay, um, good. We got this one. And uh, what's gonna be next? What's next? Uh, let's do coasters. All right. Cool. Do you okay. have a mock-up for coasters as well? So I yes. Oh, those are everything. Nice. There is mock-ups for everything. Cool. Um, we can use the one with multiple coasters. Yeah. Or the one with yeah, the one with multiple, multiple. I think looks more like coasters. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So um, let's do top of the session because we need to choose. Oh, um, pink. Pink? Yes. I like pink. Yeah. <laughs> I think we haven't used it a lot yet, right? <laughs> We've never used pink. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just confirm that this works. Yeah. Okay. This um, looks good. Yes. Okay. Um, mm -mm. And we'll do the pack up. So, I think I'm going to use the one with the logo in the back, since mm -hmm. it's, we've already featured the logo in other places. Mm -hmm. So, but wait, is this really in balance? OK. 
Okay, again, we click on the okay. on the masking. Masking, and then I just drag because you don't need to hold. Yeah, you don't need to hold the anymore. Uh, the shift anymore. Yeah. Yes. I think it makes sense. It will prevent from so many bad designs where people stretch the text. <laughs> oh God! Please. <laughs> right. Oh, so this mock-up it's done in a way that it puts the the same design in both. So maybe I think if I try to flatten this and then change it. Mm -hmm. It might work. Let's see. Uh, merge layers, and then I'll just change this one. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it works. Mm -hmm. There's maybe an official, like a more official way of doing that. But there is no official this way. Is my, it's all about <laughs> this is my turn. <laughs> my way around it. Yeah. It, as I said, it's a forest. Everybody finds their own way. That's true. It. <laughs> That's true. If you guys know any other way of doing this, let us know in the comments. Oh, it worked. Yeah, there we go. That's cool. Perfect. Okay. Oh, um, I like this hat. It's so cool. I like it too. It's so nice. Um, I think, I mean, usually you wouldn't think of a hat if you would think of a restaurant you rather or a bar. You'd rather think of like drinks or food. But I think <laughs> it's uh, it has such a such a good connection in terms of like lifestyle uh, and this Latin Latin ins inspired feel. So yeah, it definitely great. takes you to to Latin America at least. Niels is me. here from Chamburi in Thailand. Hi. Thailand in the house. Awesome. Okay, so and we got to change the 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 edge as well. They mm -hmm. had this edge. Okay, so I think this looks great. Nice. Let's just change the background. Okay. So it matches with the rest of our of our presentation. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's try green background. Green okay. background. <laughs> green background. It is Thomas. Uh huh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Igor is saying hello again. Beautiful girls make beautiful branding. Aw, thank Aww. you. Yeah, Lina is amazing. <laughs> thank you, and Julia is too. Yeah. You and we only guys should go check out check out Julia's work. Tell them where you, they can find you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, you can find me on Behance. Um, you know, I think if you look for Julia Masalska, you should find me. Yes, go find her. She's <laughs> awesome. Um, thank so you so much. You are. You're so sweet. No, you're. I'm, I'm not being sweet. Yeah. It's just the truth. I'm not being sweet. I'm no. Not being sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so Can't do anything about it. <laughs> so one thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make it because uh -huh. there's like little yeah. space. I wanna yeah. make it. Um, yeah. Ten eighty by. Mhm. Mm Neither, but oh, I have the highlights. Let's see if this works. Oh. oh no, it's not mm. there. So I might have to. Okay, I'm I'm gonna navigate the forest mm -hmm. right now <laughs> and be and do it. Yeah. A different way. Oh, what is what was that? Turned off. So this is yeah. Oh, I can take it. Go. Oh, but there's still in here. Um. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I if I take see. out that, but then it does not look. Nah. So what I would... Also, every mock-up is different. So yes. sometimes you get the shadow separately. Sometimes it's like in, in the background. So, so never know I what you do, get. I mean, you gotta work what you have with what you have. This is not ideal because... Um, but I'm already gonna export it and then I'm just mm -hmm. gonna... Niels is saying, wow, that green looks awesome. Made it all pop. Yes, that's what, yes. what all designers want that it pops. <laughs> <laughs> Thank right? you, Tomas, for the for yeah, the, for it was a great, the great idea. Great suggestion. Okay, so yeah, I'm just oh, gonna do. Oh, okay. Uh huh. I see. You yeah, have the tricks. You, you have the you good have tricks. To, you have to find the, the, your ways the way around it. Yeah, around it. Uh huh. And since I'm already about to export it, it's I'll just ah don't. Uh huh. So, what tool are you using right now? I am using the the, the stamp tool, right? Or um, which one is it? The clone stamp. The clone tool. stamp, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you press, uh, you press. Option. So I press option, and I sample.
from the color that I want. And it basically transfer, transfers a different part of the picture inside where you put the, um, yeah, the curtain. The cur so curtain. it's like, the only thing is that if you're close to the by edge. to another oh, object, yeah. it can replicate Copy that the, object yeah. in there, mm -hmm. which you don't want, so mm -hmm. you have to stay. That's a really cool way, no that's way. awesome. Imagine. And there, there is, even here there's different ways to do this, but um, yeah, this is your way and it's amazing. Yeah, there's. You could also use the patch tool. Yeah. Or. Yeah, I think the patch tool would be the next thing, right? To it. Uh, well, yeah. Oh. Okay, so. It worked. Yeah, maybe a little dark on that spot. Let's use this. Uh, maybe a little dark, like right here. Maybe you can copy from here. From here. Mm -hmm. right? And maybe if I do another still room too. Yeah, I think it's smaller. This is a very refined uh, <laughs> <laughs> work right now. <laughs> We're like the... Javier is asking, Julia, did you use Adobe Portfolio? Yes, I do have an Adobe Portfolio. It's at um, www.masalska.myportfolio.com. Uh, okay, I'm gonna export. And the cool thing about Adobe Portfolio is, I think, uh, is that you basically publish your projects on Behance, and then you can uh, you can activate them or deactivate them uh, on your portfolio website, which is free and it's amazing. Oh. So uh, <clears throat> uh, s l let me show this to you guys real quick. Yes, please. So this is my portfolio right here, right? And then, um, and then if I go to my site, it looks like this. So it's basically the same exact projects that I have on Behance. Oh. And uh, yeah, you can make a portfolio website. That's awesome. And it's free. That, that's amazing. It automatically makes a website for you. You can include your links. What? And everything. That's great. And it's free with your, with with your, your Adobe, Adobe Cloud su yeah. subscription. Yeah. Wow, that's great, you guys. And anytime you make changes on your Behance, uh, uh, on your Behance projects, uh, it adapts it to that website. So you don't actually have to update anything. And if you have, for example, if you're applying for a job, and if you want only want to show branding projects, for example, you can you can activate only the branding projects uh, if you only want to show them. And yeah, and then your uh, site only shows the projects that you picked. So it's a really cool tool. That's I great. Recommend it to you guys. That's really cool. All right, I'm mucking up a little um, storefront with the logo. This was. Really quick because uh -huh. I only had to put the yeah the logo in there. I love it. This is so cool, <laughs> and it's the coaster one, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. So, oh. so there you go. <laughs> Copy paste. Yeah, easy. Um, yeah, mockups sometimes are super an advantage. Yes. No, they are, and they really make your project come to life. Yeah, it, that's true. It's really, really good. Yeah. Uh, Lance is asking how to set up the Adobe portfolio. If that's a question, um, it's when you go to your um, to your profile, there is an option of uh, create portfolio, and there is also um, if you go into um, if we can switch to my screen real quick. Um, if you go on this little uh, thing here, how to here, this little square thing. It also says portfolio, so um, that's where you build your portfolio and where, where you can um, activate and deactivate your projects. So yeah, that's where you find it. Right. And we only have five minutes left for uh, the daily creative yes. challenge. I'm so excited to see everyone's work. Yeah. You guys uh, submit. Right now, <laughs> submit, submit, make submit. sure make sure that it gets uh, in there before we start. Who's submitting their work? Yeah, let us know. Oh, matches, matchboxes, I love it. 
blood. Would would this be quicker with selecting and feeling content aware? There's probably ways. There's I, I different know. ways. <laughs> I don't know what. There's that different is. different tools to do that. Vlad, um, I'm gonna have to email you so, so you can explain um, me. I think content aware yeah. is a tool where you basically um, can pick a part of the picture and make it fill with whatever the picture is about. So, for example, mm -hmm. if you have like a uh, if you have a picture of a beach and you're walking on the beach, and then in the background there is a person. You can remove the person with a tool that's called content aware, where you um, mark or basically mask the person. And then um, you uh, use that tool to basically that make AI them. make the picture fill out the, the content where the person actually would be. Wow, that's so, yeah, it's a, it's a I think it's a pretty new tool. Um, very intelligent. Four minutes. That's yeah, cool. Four Thanks, Vlad, for the, for the tip. He's asking also if you can add your own domain to your portfolio. Is that possible? Um, uh, I think so. Yeah, you can you can link a bunch of things there. I'm not sure. I just linked my social media, but I'm pretty sure you can also um, make other links. Yeah, Catherine is saying it's a new tool. Yeah, it's a pretty new tool. Cool, I'm gonna have to learn it. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> Three minutes okay. left until we review Go your, submit your work. super cool designs. Go submit it. Oh, I can already see some really cool work here. <laughs> oh, you're already looking yeah, at it. Yeah, sneak peek. <laughs> you cheater. <laughs> you guys submit right now. Submit, submit. Make go, sure, go. make sure it gets there into the Discord channel. Okay. <laughs> Valder is saying is Adobe Kadabra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Adobe Kadabra. <laughs> Fill the picture with the uh, con related content. <laughs> That's true. It's like magic, honestly. Yeah, technology nowadays can go really far. Like. It's crazy. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I love how you how you uh, made this text a little bit like like wobbly. Wobbly. Like imperfect. Salsa. Salsa text. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the movement. Yeah. Um nice. Okay, so I just need to Go take fr a tip from Alberto. You can also work um, on alt tags, SEO meta tags. Etc. Yeah, definitely. It's like a. It's basically like a website. You can modify. Cool. Cool. Really cool. Okay. Oh, I like this. <laughs> I love those colors. Red and like light pink Me is too. one of my one of my favorite color combinations currently. That is my favorite color combination. <laughs> if you see my that that's my logo <laughs> design too. For my company, I really like it. Playa, okay. La playa. La playa. <laughs> okay. Forty seconds. <laughs> go submit it right now if you haven't. Yeah. Go go go. Feminine matches. <laughs> Very feminine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's. Okay, are you guys ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Georgi is asking how often do you stream? We stream every week. You can tune in every week. Except for I think one or two weeks in the year where there is no streams. But actually every week. Yay! And we're ready for the design feedback. Yes! Awesome, guys. So let's take a look at the work that you submitted. Bottle design. All right. So yeah, for me, it definitely looks like a bottle app uh, ad. What about you? Yes, you should get the image from other. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Oh, I think see? this is really cool. The transparency here came out really well. Yeah, yeah, I know. 
What is missing? A little bit of shadow will be great. Yeah, so it looks like it's grounding a little bit. Yeah, like more. around right here, just a tiny shadow will make it a little bit more realistic. Otherwise, it's a really, really nice job that you did here. Yes, really good. Ooh, we this can one looks use really it realistic. for La Playa. Oh yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could actually use this for the branding for the bar. It's awesome. Yes, it looks really good. I like this, I like this. Here, um, again, a little bit of shadow, I think, would not be bad. Just to give it a little bit more of, um, yeah, of a dimensional feel. Um, yeah, yeah because it's definitely looking really good. Yeah, it's definitely looking awesome. Mm -hmm. This is a really good picture that you took here. This looks like an actual Corona advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Amazing. Ah, uh -huh. okay. It's, it's not the same one. I think this one has a little bit more shadow here than and the other one. I am in the middle of this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys have been doing a great job. I love it. Amazing. Yeah. So, um, if you compare this one. Is there? What do you see here? Like it looks like the the water is coming out of the bottle. Is oh, this is. I think. I think this is just um, the oh, background. Oh, it's the, oh. I got it. Yeah. The now background. I, the wood. Mm -hmm. Now I see these glasses are not working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Again, here this part I think could be worked on, but otherwise it's a really really nice. Um, yeah, really nice picture. Love it. All right. If you guys have not submitted yet, that's it. Submit, guys. Oh, oh look. here. <laughs> Don't forget to hydrate. Very important. Yeah, very important. Yeah, and here oh, I think that. there was a there was a like a um, trial to make a little shadow. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. Looks good. Uh, maybe a little bit lighter around this area because you want to. You want the product to be the highlight, right? Mm -hmm. So um, you want the product to pop. At the moment, the background is very, very bright and the bottle is pretty dark. Meaning you, the first thing that you see when you look at this picture will be this, this part. Mm -hmm. Because it's the brightest part, it just calls your attention. And then you probably look here and then you look at the bottle. So. I would definitely try to make the background a little bit less saturated or maybe not the saturation but the, like at least decrease the the brightness a little bit and then increase the brightness of the f of the forefront of the product itself. Yeah. I like how you included the text here. It's good. What do you think? Yes, no, I agree with all your your feedback. I I would definitely uh, brighten that up. And and maybe a little bit more more contrast between the the text and the background because mm -hmm. right now it's also like the the picture behind it has the the Adobe stock so it's a, it's a little hard to know right now but but I would say a little bit more contrast maybe mm -hmm. use a lighter or you could use a white or a white, white font here yeah 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 that's true but great job you otherwise guys. yeah great job I think this is a really good. Uh, Practical exercise. Oh, oh there's there another go. one. There oh. we go. Nice. This is nice. But your 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 products don't have labels, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> it would be great to have a label. Come on, guys. You can you can include a, a label here as well. Um, yeah, design your own label for the water bottle and include it here. This is really cute. How you um, included the the little butterfly. The typeface is amazing, I think, for um, for the type of advertisement. It's very easy to read, and the kerning here is pretty good. Uh, and I like how you how you t uh, combined a bold typeface with a lighter typeface underneath. Norfolk pond water. Pond water. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there might is be that something drinkable? like that. <laughs> 
maybe if you filter it enough, it will be <laughs> yeah, it would be I cool like the to type have treatment. Some, it would be cool to see your label to this brand. Come on, design a label. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Oh, Nico. Nico is asking, what font you use for La Playa text? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll get to this in a minute okay. when we're done. Perfect. Sorry. When we're done with this. Okay. Okay, so I think this was yesterday's uh, submission with a, with a golden uh, typeface or with a typeface that has structure and uh, yeah, and color, color flow. Oh, it's really cute. Yeah, I think. Oh, wait, there's more. one more. Yay. Oh, Ooh. I love that. Really I nice. love that you decided for the oil, uh, for an oil bottle instead of just, um, yeah, taking the regular, uh, yeah, glass bottles, which were, which will be probably like wine or beer or water. Um, yeah, it's, I think it came out really nice. Um, here, maybe with the perspective, not sure because this kind of leads a little bit lower to a horizon that's probably like around here. You can you can determine the horizon if you connect those lines, this line and this line. So probably the horizon will be somewhere here, while the picture horizon is somewhere here. So there is a little. Mm. A little, um, shift. It, yeah, a little shift, yeah. But otherwise, I think this is a really good job. You did a really nice job here with, uh, yeah, with including the background into, into the bottle. It does. It looks really nice. I would like to see a version with the little plate, mm. like regular opacity, or so it doesn't. Because right now it looks like. It has the same treatment as the bottle, but it's oh, not yeah. a bottle with liquid. So Oh yeah, right. Yeah, you right. It looks like there is olive oil in here as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe it's a transparent maybe it is a transparent plate with olive oil. <laughs> yeah, so definitely make sure you take a look at the at what the object actually is and I mean here the liquid is oil, so and this one is empty actually probably. So, um, yeah, just make sure you you get very precise with uh, with the feel of it. Yeah. Otherwise, I think this yeah, the color this matching image, is great too. Yeah, the, the color, color matching, matching is really good. I think. Yeah, it's a very warm, warm tones, and um, I think this picture is just nice because it it's not too dominant when you look at it, and the product kind of has more uh, more contrast here, so it kind of like it's more in the foreground and it calls for more attention than the background, which is more blurry. And I think this is a pretty good job done. Amazing. You guys are awesome. Super cool. Oh, look, there is more. Waterfall. Oh, this is cool. This looks very, very moist. <laughs> <laughs> very, very chill, very chill, chill, chilled water. Chilled water. Was this the same person that did surf up yesterday? Maybe. <laughs> Somebody is very into surfing here. Yes, who's gonna go surfing with us? This looks really cool. <laughs> but a question: What is? Where is this bottle placed? Because right at the moment you see this huge wave, and it looks like this bottle is laying on the beach. But, but in the proportion to the wave, the bottle looks giant. So um, make sure make sure you get the proportions right in the picture. Meaning, if this will be a wave, it should be way bigger than the bottle. Um, or, or you can you can say the bottle should be smaller than the wave. Yeah, I like how it has been worked on with the reflection here, though. I think um, it's a really nice job. And we, of course, don't want uh, empty bottles laying on the beach. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully. Someday yeah. we'll change that. All right, you guys. Also, if you want to submit your artwork, you, can, you still can. Um, and then you'll get some feedback, um, yeah, over our Discord channel. So you can participate in the chat as well. Yes, thank you for thank to you those so who much. participated, you yeah. guys. You're awesome. 
you guys have done an awesome job. Yes. Okay, so um, I'm gonna start, how much more time do we have? I think we have about like 15 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna start uh, putting this into my artboards for to export. Ah, okay. For the final project. So you make for every for every picture for the final project, you make an artboard, right? Yes. So what I do, I make an artboard and I place them horizontally so I can have a feel for how it's gonna read on a website. Yeah. You like can do you it like that, or um, what I'm doing is I'm making one super long uh, artboard and then mm -hmm. I'm slicing it. So there's a slice tool. Oh, yes. And then I you export the slices, uh, which means you can also um, then make sure, um, like you can, you can export them as long pictures, but then you can also export them as taller pictures. Oh, that's So um, that's there's different good... ways. There's different ways, you guys, as I said. <laughs> <laughs> We're it's all navigating the forest. Yeah. Yes. So. All right, let's put this all together. I'm sure this will be awesome. Let's see. I where is this? Um, so we have these in their assets. Okay, so we have the main. Diego is saying uh, he's simply addicted to this logo. Oh, <laughs> and hi from <laughs> Thank Brazil. You, Diego. Thank you, Diego. Hi. Yeah, I'm. I'm oh, also addicted to it. Thank you, guys. <laughs> when is this bar gonna open? I'm gonna I'm gonna go and visit it. Yes, come. <laughs> <laughs> this is super cool. Okay. Yeah, I think these pictures behind each other make real much sense because you you find this the logo from the top picture in the menu underneath. So yeah, that would be awesome. So um, I'm gonna cheat this a little bit. Felipe is saying hi from Portugal. Hi, Felipe. Hi. Awesome. Okay, I'm just cheating because I want a little bit more of space. Uh -huh. I don't want to go into Photoshop and do it ah. because we don't have a lot of time. So <laughs> I'm just cheating. No, it's these. good. It's good if you show us and all your time savers. Oh, all, all my time savers. So yeah. I basically just take the image and. Uh, copy flip it, it and then flip it uh -huh. and I put it right there. So. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Nobody will ever see. Nobody will ever know. <laughs> you just saved yourself 10 minutes or 15 yeah. minutes of time. There you go, of going back and forth. Um, so I'm just gonna set all of this here. Yeah. Gal is asking, do you do the presentation in Illustrator or always or sometimes? Um, I, I mostly do it in Illustrator. Mm -hmm. I just, I, I like the flow of Illustrator so much, but but you can def, like use anything, really. Mm -hmm. XD, um, Photoshop if you want to. Um, let's see, what do you use usually? I use Illustrator, yeah, because uh, as I said, I'm just making a super long artboard and I slice it later on, so I can actually see how it's gonna look like on my Behance um, portfolio, on my Behance uh, site. I just like to see it in the whole so I can scroll through it, you know. I also uh, put the size just how it, it will look on the website. Let's yeah. Let's see. Okay, so. And we can change the, the order too later on if we, oh, if yeah. we see something's not flowing, mm -hmm. but. Uh -uh. Yay! Guys, yeah, asking, and then you upload upload that to Behance. Yes, exactly. Yes. It's just so those are the parts of the whole project that we're gonna upload to Behance, and then you can also see it on our portfolio, or if you yes. have one, you can also see it on the portfolio. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do this one. What is the size display for Behance? You're working on full screen size, right? Yes, mm -hmm. I am. What's the f full screen 19, size again? 1920 by 1080. Mm -hmm. 1920 by 1080 pixels. Okay, huh. we'll see if we can cheat this one because it does have a little <laughs> <laughs> more. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. this one's not gonna be easy to cheat. Yeah. I 
colors. I like the colors. I also like that this one is a little bit darker, so it's a contrast to the one before. I think I think you always try to like make sure that um, that the picture is coming after after another kind of have a, a contrast. So I would not put pictures that have a, a, the same color tone right after each other. Yes. So you keep. Yeah. So so, so it looks exci <laughs> like, exciting. Exactly. Yeah. I always do like light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. And let's see. In this case, is yellow, green, yellow, green. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, we only have one yellow over there. Yeah. But let's see. So this I am going to put in the same one. So that it. Uh, Nafisul is asking, for how many years are we designing? Ooh, um, 10. Wow. Yes, 10 years. How about you? Or, or no, like 11? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty new to this. I'm designing since three and a half years. Yeah, three and a half years. I mean, that was after my studies. So oh, uh, during my I'm studies, my studies. Oh, okay. So <laughs> including my it. studies, probably eight. Yeah. See, we're, we're not that old, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> a professional experience, I would probably say like four and a half, maybe. Yeah. I have six. But you know what? It does not depend on the time that you have been designing it depends on the time that you actually spend designing a day because if That's i think true. about it i'm not spending every day on the computer sometimes I, I have like i take myself days off or i travel or you know i do other things so i don't spend the time really designing but if you really want to learn quick i would really recommend at least two uh, two or three hours a day spent concentrating on learning the design process and another maybe hour or two to really practice uh, client work if you have any i would i would just like start with uh, if you're someone who starts freelancing i would start uh, with personal projects or um, projects for family friends that you know and yeah make sure you speak about being a designer so people get to know that you're a designer and that you can actually help them with their business or whatever. Um, yeah, and if you keep going like that, um, the work will come automatically. Yes. Oh, do you have any design courses? Well, like, um, if we're taking any design courses right now or, or what do you mean? Uh, we, I, me personally, I don't have any design courses going on. I think, to be honest, what is a design course? This is a design course, if you think about it. Because um, this is a, an interactive way of learning, is the best way of learning. And if you're sitting there uh, at home and practicing the same thing right now, you're on the best way to learn it quick. So in, if, you, if you want, you can see it as a course as well. Yes. And there's there's other really I mean, YouTube it's overflowing with good tutorials yeah. too, and they're all yeah. free. If you want to pay for like more advanced, advanced yeah. and and but like still cheap, Skillshare has some mm -hmm. good good stuff. Yeah, you Skillshare can, has good. Yeah, good you can tutorials. learn or Linda.com or yes. Linda.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Linda.com is a good one too. Okay, so we're almost there. Um. But I don't think you really need to spend money on that. Yeah, there's so many. Adobe. Yeah. Adobe Live. Oh my god. Just watch all the Adobe Live. You'll, <laughs> you'll learn you'll so be, much. Yeah, you'll learn a lot, for sure. OK. Um, so we are almost there Super, with Super our Mario project. Yeah, oh, Super Mario is asking, uh, the size of the artboards that you're using to publish on Behance. Again. <laughs> 1920 by 1080. Yes, Philippa. <laughs> 1920 by 1080. 1920 by 1080. Um, so, what was I here? So just going to Photoshop really quick so I can export it again with a background. 
Mm-hmm. Tuan is asking, what's the best advice you could give to a designer now from everything you've learned so far? Ooh, now from everything I learned. Wow, that's a deep question. That goes way back. <laughs> um, I guess just like do the work and show up. Like it's it's about that design and and really any career and any discipline is just about mm-hmm. being there, showing up and and be and be ready to learn and to experiment mm-hmm. and and I think also like surround yourself with people that inspire you and look like if you look up for to someone just go and follow them and like try to talk to them go to network events with people that you admire and surround yourself with people that you can learn from yeah i I completely agree to the last point you will not become uh a great uh, freelancer or successful in your business if you don't go out there and get out of your room, get away from your computer. Mm-hmm. And you can be the greatest designer ever, but if nobody knows about you, um, you can, you'll be sitting there in your room forever. So just go out there, there's uh, design events um, that you can go to, meet new people, um, tell them what you're doing, communicate your ideas. Um, and even if it's like a collaboration with somebody that you know on the personal project, it doesn't matter. I think as long as you put yourself out there and like have the courage to, um, yeah, to talk about your skill, uh, you'll always, um, yeah, you'll always find work. And I think that's very important. Yes. Yeah. I agree. So let's should we sum it up real quick? Um, yes. Okay. So we okay. have we have mm-hmm. the artboards. Next thing you would do would probably export them, right? Yes, so, so Let's what I'm- Let's crawl through the project real quick. Okay, so um, I'm starting with the logo mm-hmm. and maybe what I'm gonna do later on is create a GIF so we can see the different Colors. instances of the yeah. logo or like the different, um, like the lockup, the vertical, the horizontal and the word mark. Uh, we have the menu design, we have the business card, matchbox, um, packaging design, a little storefront and bag. And here, what I was doing, I was setting up the, the mock-up of the, of the landing page. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's do that real quick. That size, but what I wanted to do was to create a texture behind it mm. with, the, with what we have right now. Um, so, eh, with, with the, how do you call this? Eh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, my 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 English just went away. <laughs> Wait, with the with the pattern. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the word okay. I'm looking for. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so, it's a cool pattern, by the way. Thank you. Um, so I'm gonna create a pattern. If I don't, if I remember how to do this, do you? I think it's um, it? uh, fi- uh, edit. Oh no, uh, object. Make. Is there a make? Or edit, make, or pattern. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, pattern there. Down. Pattern. Yeah, here. Make. Yes, yeah, that's what go. I'm looking for. Thank you. Uh-huh. For sure. And that way, when you create a pattern, uh, you can actually fill any surface with that pattern. Meaning, even if you have a text, or you can even fill the logo with a pattern. Yeah, so that's actually a really cool tool. Ah, but right now, I don't know if it did it correctly because it did have let's see yeah i'm sure the project will be great and you guys should make sure and and come see the behance project of lena on on behance and um yeah thank you so much guys for joining us thank you uh, guys it was great and yeah uh, see lena's finished project yes. on Behance. I'll be posting it soon. So Yay. stay tuned. Stay tuned. It's going to be there before the end of the day. Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you guys so much for joining us. <laughs> <laughs>